What's going on, my Gemini? Send you all love and light. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, or subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you. If you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed, please do. Um, it helps these uh, videos rotate a bit. I'm sorry I've been out of pocket. I've been resting and uh, enjoying my vacation. So, you know, thank you for putting up with me. And thank you for finding me again. Thank you for coming back to my channel. This energy to be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to. And if anyone needs uh, a personal reading, understand that the information is in the box below, okay? So you guys have someone around you that's a Leo that's being sly, cunning, and uh, strategic. Okay, this person is doing whatever they can do to have their way, okay? Um, you are being called to be as sly, cunning, and strategic, okay? You may understand that this person is being manipulative and the spirit wants you to use your inner strength, have the confidence in yourself um, to not be persuaded to do shit that you don't want to do. To have the confidence in yourself, be strong, be commanding, okay? Get over fears, doubts, anxieties. Some of you may feel like if you act a certain way, this person won't deal with you anymore. Spirit is saying, let that shit go, okay? For some of you, you're going to meet someone that's strong and someone that comes in to actually fix um uh, a situation with you or, or some things that you're currently going through may not be this person. You may be going through a lot of emotions right now and um, you need to calm down. Maybe you're um, thinking too much or having a lot of anxiety for someone here. Okay, let's see. One more card. Yep, Spirit is saying use your instincts because you know what the hell is going on. Okay, you guys are pretty fierce. You, you guys are, are lo loners. You stay by yourself a lot of time. You do a lot of thinking, okay? You know, you know, uh, when you're perturbed by something, you know when you're aggravated as fuck, okay? You know something is off. Um, so that something could be going on here where, where you're, you're needing to uh, look within because even if you can't see, you feel, right? Okay, so what is this... Um, what is this Leo energy or this inner strength that's needed for Gemini, please? Okay, seven of wands, okay? Someone may have you backed in the corner and you feel like you're always trying to fight your way out or you're always maybe having an argument to where you feel like you have to stand up for yourself with the seven of wands energy. Uh, they may come at you sideways again. This is Leo energy here. Maybe a lot of challenges, a lot of pressure. Um, you, you may be the one that always takes the higher road. Um, you're always the one that's trying to maintain control. This person could be trying to control you. And that could be what the fight is about, right? Um, they could feel like they're fighting for what they want. They're very, very strong-willed, and so are you. And you guys could be going back and forth with that issue here, okay? Uh, two of Wands energy, excuse me, Two of Swords energy is here, okay? Since I said Two of Wands, that would be Aries or someone could have Aries in their chart, okay? God of War energy here. Since I said fight, y'all could be uh, fighting and it could be pretty brutal or if it's just a, a verbal uh, um, attack, somebody could say things that are really hurtful, okay? But I, but this is actually a Two of Swords card, so I'm going to still tell you what this is. Someone could have a Libra around them. Um, a Libra around you could be preventing themselves from seeing the truth. They could be at a crossroads. Um, they're feeling like they're going to face their fears. They may be torn between you and another person, or this could be you torn between, um, your person and another person. Okay. Um, someone has blocked emotions. Someone's refusing to look at things the way that they need to, but someone is not making the type of decision that they need to make. Okay. Someone's needing to look at a loyalty situation when it comes to loner, fierce instincts. We have queen of pentacles. Okay. So someone sees uh, a person here. Someone could have Sagittarius or Capricorn in their chart. If you don't, that's fine. Okay. It could be for anyone, this energy. Someone's practical. They're mature. They're financially independent. No nonsense. Could be very hardworking, home loving. Um, someone sees you as this type of person and they feel like you're going to take care of things. Okay. And yeah, you're not meant to take care of other people. All right. Somebody needs to come in and also take care of you. OK, so if this is not that person. They may, may be looking at you as this person has it. And this could be what the sly energy is, the strategy. OK, how can I get this person to continue to take care of me here or get them to do the things that I want them to do with manipulation? OK, um, sly cunning strategy. What is this energy? 
judgment. Okay, you're going to have a choice between two people. Okay, like I said, you have one that you're with and another one may be coming back at you and you're going to have a, ch a choice to choose. Okay, with this judgment uh, energy, you could be judging a situation, a person, place or thing a little harshly as well. Uh, Spirit is wanting you to forgive the mistakes that you have made as well, because you also may be judging yourself and saying, well, how the fuck did I get into this situation? I just heard that from someone. Uh, Spirit is saying, don't do that. Understand that everything that we deal with in this lifetime is meant to teach us a lesson. OK, for some of you, you may have a new job. You may be getting a promotion at work, but you need to be careful with your money. For some of you, if you're going to court, you're going to lose the money in a lawsuit. Um, others of you are going through a spiritual awakening. Right. And you're learning these lessons. Like I just said, you're walking a spiritual path or calling. OK, so understand that this is what it is. Move forward with purpose. OK, give me one more card for Gemini. Queen of Cups, okay? So I have two queens out here, two queen energies, all right? I feel like even though this is still you, Gemini, I feel like even though you you um, are the person that, that's stable, you're doing this, this, and that, you'll always come back to the Queen of Cups energy. And this is what it is. You're a nurturer by, by default. You give, 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 okay? Spirit is saying that this is your judgment, okay? You want to choose who gives to you. OK, you don't want to be the person that's always having to give with this Queen of Cups energy. Gemini Cancer, very empathetic, very compassionate, very emotionally supportive, loyal, good, good mother, good father, whatever this is. OK, you guys know what you bring to the table. You know what you offer and everyone else does, too. OK, so you guys need to really reel it back in and see who's offering to you and who's trying to give you that same type of love um, energy. Um, and, um, I want to say, uh, financial independence of our financial security. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Who's coming in to help you with those bills and stuff of that nature. And if you have to do it all on your own, you really need to make a decision. Okay. So I'm leaving it here. Send the love and light. If you guys need me, the information's in the box below.